pictures. In this video for Photoshop CC 2014, but you could basically use the same approach for CS6, etc., and other versions of Photoshop. I'm just going to show you how you can use the angle gradient with the gradient tool and blending modes such as difference to create interesting color effects in Photoshop. Okay, first thing to do, just going to go to the gradient tool and I'm just going to quickly show you the gradient itself. Now, of course, you could use any gradient, but the key thing here, I think, for the angle option, and that's one of the angle gradient, is that the color there and the color there are the same. So it makes it a nice smooth transition between the, the, for the gradient. So click OK. And another thing I'm just going to do before I do that, I'm actually going to create add a center point, shape layer, just a shape layer, a very tiny little dot, just so you can see it, just there. And I'm going to go to layers, I'm going to go to background, but that just gives me an idea where the center point is. It's very hard, I think, if you're doing gradient, multiple gradients, sometimes you can end up shifting and shifting over and you're not really getting the center. It would be nice if there was a sort of gradient feature where you could actually just define that center point and just use that center point each time. So you'd have to keep going back to it, just drag it out, drag it out. But anyway, that feature isn't there. So now what I'm going to do, just going to go over to that center point, as mentioned, and just apply an angle, I think that's the angle there. So you can see it's a nice smooth thing. There's no sort of disjointed sort of, which is normal case for most of them. So, and you can, of course you can move it around if you don't want that one. And you can use it, obviously tweak it. You can actually go up here, add some other color in there if you wish. Don't. Now, go to blending mode, difference. And now, and of course you don't have to use blending mode of difference, you could use darken or overlay or one of the other ones and you just keep applying that multiple times you can make very very nice range of different colors and like i say you could make add more complexity to the gradient you can actually just go over here so i'm just gonna put uh, maybe change that to a darker click ok and then drag that out and so on and so on and you can do that indefinitely and obviously change it in many ways you want to. Now, once you've actually done that, remove that a little lips. I'm just going to get rid of that. Don't want that anymore. So you can see basically I have even there slightly moved. It's not perfect. So, but what you've got, once you've got this gradient, you can actually now go over, of course, to, you could use adjustment layers, but I'm just going to, in this case, just quickly go to adjustments, image adjustments, and maybe use color lookup or Photo filter, and I'm just going to quickly go photo filter. You could use that. Maybe use vibrance, kind of boost up the color, or maybe go to color lookup. Is uh, sepia? Let's go sepia there. So there you have it. Click OK. So you've got a nice sepia design, and of course, there's infinite amount of other things you can do with it. You can use ply effects. Also, you could turn it into, go for a, one of the uh, different color modes, maybe duotone, and maybe set that color that way. Hope you found this of interest.